Give it up for our next comic coming to the stage, Carter Glasgow. Holy shit! Oh, I'm gonna pass out. How are you guys doing? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. It's nice to see you. Holy shit. Uh, yes, you heard correctly. My name is Carter Glasscock. <laughs> Ooh. And it has been my whole fucking life. <laughs> you know, people try to make you feel better about it. They're like, come on, man, like the crystal pistol, you know? Like, dude, look at me. I look like the fucking Gerber baby now. You know what I mean? I look like the Gerber baby like grew up and moved to Vegas. People are like bothering me at a blackjack table and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm the Gerber baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do, I'll do the face, I'll do the face. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, you know. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, I heard it, hell yeah, roll tide. Uh, if you haven't been to Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama is like the Paris, France of Alabama. <laughs> you know? And people love me in Birmingham, dude. They fucking love me. You know? Like this one time I was at this bar, right? And I was going outside to have a cigarette or whatever. And this group of guys looked at me and I swear to God, no shit, this guy looks at me and goes, ain't no books out here, nerd. <laughs> I was like, oh, my mistake. <laughs> you know? Guys will say stuff to you like, but then like, man, Glasscock, huh? The name like that, you must love gay marriage, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it. I support it. No, nah, you love it. <laughs> I'm like, can I go, officer? Is this a routine stop? Get your ass on, glass dick, or whatever the fuck your name is. You know? A lot of guys in the South, they like wanna make sure that you know they're straight, you know? They'll be like, dude, I like females, bro. Female, like they're aliens, females. <laughs> An eye comes up out of their head. Females for human cultivating. Human females. <laughs> I've heard this phrase a lot of the South. Dude, she sucked my dick to completion. <laughs> what? Dude, all the way, bro. It's like, dude, you, like, you know, like, what if she just stopped halfway through or something like that? Or something? <laughs> Dude, I'm at 86%. He's like, he's Netflix. I'm buffering. I'm buffering. <laughs> you know? Ah, oh, man. It's a lot of repressed guys. A lot of repressed Southern guys, you know? You can, see, you can see who they are, too. They're, like, drunk alone at a bar. And they're, like, watching a game or something. And they're, like, muttering to themselves. You know, they'll be, like, watching the game, like, come on, man, we gotta have this today. We gotta have this. Come on now, come on. Come on now, let's go! Let's go! Don't go, daddy! <laughs> it's worse, it's like I'm saying, like where's our boys at, you know what I mean? It's like they went across the street to get a pack of cigarettes and never come back. Let mom raise us. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I used to work at a bar, as you can tell by my, you know, demeanor. Uh, I used to work at a bar, and I engaged a little too much. I think I engaged a little too much, you know? Like, I remember, like, most people just want to be left alone. But I remember this one guy, you know, he was on a date with this girl, and they were, like, you know, trying, he was trying to be cute, so he was affecting this, like, British accent, you know? He was like, another round for me and the lady, please. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, all right. And I went with it but like a little too much, you know? I was like, another round for you and the lady, you say? Oh my, perhaps I'll have to go to the, the mess hall and get you a flag on the mail, yes? And 
like this. Uh, they didn't like that. <laughs> Crickets. But you know, like when you're like doing something and you can't stop doing it. <laughs> like I was closing other people. I was being normal. You know, I was like, how you guys doing? You doing okay? How's about the lady? Hmm? How's he doing? Is he a Prince Charming or isn't he? If, I, if he beds you, then I get, to, I get seven golden gemstones. <laughs> Silly, man. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of shitty jobs. And I think the way you got to approach a shitty job like anything in life, like a fucking gangster, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like I was like, uh, like I worked at a Panera Bread or whatever. And I used to like go into that job and just play the voiceover from Ray Liotta and Goodfellas in my head. As soon as I got in there, you know, I'd like walk in and be like, see, to us, there was no other way to live. <laughs> they told us to throw the bread out after work. We put it in our cars. No one said anything because no one got caught. Oh, you want a tuna on focaccia? Fuck you, I ate it. Oh, you want a ham and Swiss? Fuck you, I ate it. And now it's all over. I gotta eat my French onion soup like a schnook. You know? <sighs> it's good to have a job though, you know? Being employed's all right. I, uh, it just sucks. I remember the days when I had to like use a coin star to like for everything. That sucks, man, it's so embarrassing. Like, you know, you have to like drag like a dirty sock full of nickels into a grocery store. <laughs> And like, you know, you see everyone you've ever met in your entire life there in that moment, you know? <laughs> Those machines are loud, too. Like, you know, you're like trying to be, you know, inconspicuous. <laughs> like your ex-girlfriend's there with her new boyfriend. They're in like the pharmacy section. I want to get the mega pack of condoms. I want to fuck all night. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. <laughs> he got fat. <laughs> like the sock gets caught in it. <laughs> but what do you do? What do you do with that $6.85 you work so hard for? You, get, you bypass them making out, you know? And you go buy the wrong phone charger. Uh, I'm, not, I'm used to being embarrassed, you know? Shit, you gotta be doing this kind of shit. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you a story uh, about uh, the first time a girl saw me naked, AKA that time my house burned to the ground. It was in the winter of 1997. I know, right? I look pretty good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 58 years old. Uh, and so, so it was the winter nights, and I was in, in the, uh, the tub. I was taking a bath, right? And at the same time, our house was being worked on, our kitchen was being worked on, it was being laminated. And uh, the guy who was laminating was like, you know what, I've been working pretty hard, man. I'm gonna have me a little cigarette. You know what, I'm gonna close these doors and these windows inside with lacquer thinner and have a cigarette. So from the tub, I just heard this noise. <laughs> and I was like, eh, I don't know, using a flamethrower on the kitchen. <laughs> My dad comes, he's like, there's a fire, there's a fucking fire, everyone get out, there's a fire! Like the cucumber slices fell off my eyes, like, ooh, what? Like, there's a fire! <laughs> so I didn't get a towel, I run outside. This guy looked hilarious before he was fully engulfed in flames, by the way. My dad, like, checks him, and he's, like, rolling him around the, the yard and stuff, and he's like, ugh, ugh. My, my neighbor had jumped over at this point, right, to see what was going on, see what the hubbub was all about. And he was like trying to help. He was like, okay, uh, we, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta call the fire department, I think. Yeah, we gotta call the fire department. Uh, this is before cell phones. Like, who do we send across the street to call the fire department? Hmm, naked kid. I'm like, what the fuck, are you serious? He's like, oh, right, right, right. And then he gave me his shirt. Like, that's gonna... How, like, what am I, just gonna Winnie the Pooh it across the street? You know what I mean? Like, what dick? And what this guy also failed to mention to me was, 
that his daughter was having a sleepover with like every girl in my grade in it and they all came to the door at once. There was a moment of silence between us. Then they looked at me and went, ain't no books in here, nerd. Thank you guys very much for listening to me.